So what um, I'd like to do is that we're going to walk up the hill like we typically do. While we do this, I want you to listen to the hoofbeats. Mm -hmm. Okay, kind of figure out the different sounds again between left and right. Mm -hmm. I also would like for you to stay in contact with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And if you feel your mind distracting, focus, focus in on his breathing and the hoofbeats, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and stay in tuned with him. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. EMDR builds on bilateral stimulation of the brain. If you've ever listened to hoofbeat, but there's a difference between left and right. So just kind of focusing in on the different sounds of the individual hoofs on the ground is a form of bilateral stimulation. Can you hear the left side? You can hear the right side? Yes, I do. Okay. Can you feel his mane? Mm-hmm. In contrast to his other skin? Mm-hmm. What I'd like you to do is take this first picture okay. and focus on the feeling in your back. Okay, you listen to the hoofbeats. Instead of working with material and images uh, that are being brought up in front of a person's eyes, you draw symbols. It's a derivative of a so-called field technique. Uh, if you think in abstract or symbols rather than the actual event, it makes it easier to look at it. The pictures are representative of materials that are still laden with different emotions, but you don't have the individual images along with it. I'm gonna do a short check-in. I'd like for you to blend it out. Take a deep breath in. Thank you. Deep breath out. Whether it's EAP or um, equine assisted EMDR, obviously we pay a lot of attention to the horses. What I have noticed, whether I'm walking next to a horse with a client on the other side of the horse or a client is on top of the horse, it is the horse's reactions that give me more information than anything I could ever observe just in the body language of the client. We're going to let it run until you have a new picture, okay? Mm-hmm. Got a picture. Okay. Stop. As I'm walking, I try to monitor his entire body. I watch his face. I watch the tension, I watch the mimics, uh, I listen to the speed, I try to monitor his breathing. A lot of times clients will stop breathing and the horse will stop breathing. So it's a million different things. I try to take in as much information that is being communicated by his entire body. Would you just bid for Alden? I have trouble with the word healing. I don't believe in healing. I'm a firm believer in stating being present in the here and now, being fully present in the here and now, being comfortable with yourself in the here and now, despite thoughts or impulses or needs or desires that you may experience at a time, being comfortable in the here and now by knowing yourself in the here and now, understanding yourself in the here and now, leads up to you being able to make decisions in the here and now that are congruent with you to where people don't have to wear masks anymore. <laughs>